Tonight, we're getting a fuller picture of what preceded the killing of Ahmad Arbery and what might yet be revealed. The controversial killing has put a national spotlight on Brunswick, Georgia. And tonight, attorneys representing Greg McMichael, who is charged along with his son, Travis, and Arbery's death say he thought Arbery was burglarizing homes in the area. But owners of a half-built home that Arbery appears to have entered at least once say he was one of many who wandered into that construction site and nothing was ever stolen. On your side, Troy Kless joins us live in Brunswick tonight with the latest details for us. Troy. Thank you, Anthony. We have received numerous videos from a property owner here in Satilla Shores, the same neighborhood where Ahmad Arbery was killed back on February 23rd. The homeowner telling us he believes that Arbery may have simply been stopping to get a drink of water at his home. And also today, attorneys for the men accused of killing Arbery say that the entire truth of what happened that day still has not come out and more video evidence may be forthcoming. Laura Hogue and Franklin Hogue representing Greg McMichael. He and his son Travis McMichael charged with the death of Ahmad Arbery. Those facts that point to a very different narrative than the one that brings you all here today. Those facts will be revealed where all facts that matter are revealed in a courtroom. In a brief press conference, Hoag says there are more unearthed videos of the moments leading up to the deadly confrontation, and the truth of what happened has yet to be revealed. New videos obtained Friday show a man who appears to be Arbery inside a house under construction, the same one he appears to have visited the day he was killed. An attorney for the owner of the property says this video taken December 17th shows a man walking out of the house and jogging down the street. Elizabeth Grady represents the property owner. She said they believe it's the same person who visited the home February 11th. That night, Travis McMichael called 911, reporting someone in the house. Two weeks later, Travis fatally shot Arbery after he claims he saw him entering the same house. Now, the man who appears to be Arbery, there's video that the homeowner believes shows him wiping his mouth or neck, and that's why he believes he may have been stopping to get a drink of water. Now, coming up at 6 tonight, we will see more video of other people visiting the house, and we will also hear from attorneys for Arbery's family about these newly released videos. We're live in Brunswick tonight. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side. Troy, thank you for that report. We have much more on this case on our website, firstcoastnews.com. We break down all the videos for you released in this case, as well as interviews from family and friends of Arbery. That's all on our website. You can also download our free mobile app for updates on the go.